guys? Awesome Nerd Show here. Today we're unboxing the Nerd Block. So this thing finally arrived. So this is last month's Nerd Block. So usually this is the very first box we get of each month out of all the boxes we get. Um, and so it was really weird that it was delayed. And then we finally got an email saying that it's been pushed back. And then they pushed it back again. And it finally shipped out um, early this month. And we finally got it. So I'm hoping whatever caused the delay for this is something good and that this box is worth it. And um, I have no clue what the theme is and stuff, so hopefully it's something good. So let's just look. Um, we'll go ahead and start with this shirt here. Um, so it looks like almost like a James Bond type thing, like a James Bond layout type thing. So it has an explosive pins, um, suit, black linen, wool, vehicle, a AMDB5, something like that? I don't know. A key, a gun, golden gun, shaken, not stirred martini. And all that. So I assume it's just a James Bond type thing. There's nothing to indicate that for sure, but obviously by the items on there that that's what it has to do with. You forgot the watch. Oh. So. There's one. Oh. So that's that shirt. Next up we have a cup, and it somewhat feels like glass. It could be fake, or not fake, but plastic instead. But it's got bubble wrap all over it, and I can't tell what's on it. Like, it somewhat looks like superheroes, but not at the same time. This is probably why it was delayed. Oh, it's Doctor Strange. What it is. Okay, so now I can clearly see it now that it's not glass. So it is glass. So that is um, nice that it is glass, so it's higher quality. It is a Marvel product, but it just looks like there's, like, a sticker along the outside, and it's, like, kind of sticky. Um, probably because of the heat and everything that's been sitting in. But it says, The Man Called Doctor Strange. So it just got a bunch, like, there's the main thing of Doctor Strange. So this is the old comic version, not the movie. So it's got all sorts of pictures of Doctor Strange all around it um, in different forms and uh, actions and stuff like that. I don't say so it looks like, uh, I think it's, that's Dormammu, I think, or um, right there. It's hard to see. But it's a little guy with a flame head. And I believe that's Dormammu. Or at least one of the villains from the movie, or show, or comic, comic is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's all there is. Um, so like I said, it's nice that it's a cup, and it's Marvel, got the Marvel thing on it, so it is a licensed cup. But um, the design's kind of weird and stuff. I don't like it that much. But it's okay. Next up, we have a Sex Panther, whatever that could be. <laughs> so it is a Nerd Block, block exclusive. It's a Paramount Pictures thing. Oh, it's from Anchorman. I was going to say, it's Whatever. Anchorman. Oh, it's a, looks like a flask or a bottle of cologne, one of the two. So, <laughs> it, it looks like a bottle of cologne, but I don't know if that's for sure what it is or not. Oh, it smells like Bigfoot! Say, Edited. There's, noth there's nothing in here. <laughs> so, um, I've not seen, especially if this is from the first Anchorman, I've not seen it, and I don't remember much about the second one. Um... But I think if this is like an item from the movie, it's just kind of funny and stuff. Even though I wish there'd be some sort of like weird cologne. I thought it'd be like a spray top instead of just a hole. Uh, I can't remember what the line is, but it's Paul Rudd's character and he puts that on and he's like, this works 100% of the time. And I think he says like 60% of the time. Oh yeah, I, I remember that now. Okay, so I somewhat remember that. But yeah, I wish there would at least be something in here. And like, it could be like some like super cheap cologne like, did you buy, like, the dollar store or something in there? But I just think it would have been funny. Well, I'm pretty Especially, sure that's what Sex Panther yeah, is. Saying, Super that, cheap cologne. That would make it fit better, too. Um, so I still don't know exactly what the theme is. So, say, we do have a little card um, here. It says, as you know, the nerd block, or your block was delayed while we waited for an item to arrive. Okay, I don't see it in here. It says, a set of... Deadshot plastic whiskey glasses is what was supposed to be in here. It says, unfortunately, the glasses arrived at our warehouse and were badly damaged. It says, we are extremely disappointed with the quality of the items and couldn't get it, couldn't in good consciousness send you a product that we know is flawed. To make things right, we sourced a replacement product to ensure your block is the best that it can be. A Marvel glass tumbler, so that must be what the cup is. It says we truly apologize and all that sort of stuff. So we got that glass instead of whiskey glasses from Deadshot or something. So yet they can't okay. send out bad products, yet they sent us an empty cologne bottle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, whole kind of nerd uh, book. <laughs> so next up, we. Have, I think this goes with the thing, but this was in that 
box too. So I don't know if you could maybe stick that inside and then use that as like a clone type bottle or whatever. I don't know. But that was in the box too. Um, next up we have a pair of suspenders which is awesome because I've been wanting these suspenders just for fun. And these are Joker suspenders so it's hard to see. The colors are not very good on this. Um, but it's like a really dark purple suspenders with dark green uh, diamond platings and stuff like that. So we'll just open it just to get a better look at it and stuff. Again I can't think of what the theme for this would be because there's various different things in here. Random stuff? Well there's like uh, I was going to say like movies and stuff, um, but it's also kind of, well maybe not, I was going to say it's kind of like, uh, I was going to say like mobbish, but I don't think that's, because uh, I keep thinking James Bond is like The Sopranos or something like that, I don't know. But here we have so this bit, like I said, I'm gonna it's say so hard it's, to see. I'm going to say it's arrogance, <laughs> because every single thing we've gotten so far has to deal with an arrogant person. James Bond, um, yeah. Doctor Strange. I don't know. We'll find out hopefully with the card. Um, so again, these look. Oh wait, I forgot you put them on like that. So I, I don't know how suspenders work at all. But obviously you clip them on your like that, then pull them up over your shoulders to the front, and then clip them on the front of your pants. So I'll, I'll definitely have to put these on just for fun. Maybe wear them to work for a funny day or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Just to be fun. Um, next up we have a print, which it is kind of cool, but it's a Joker poster. And this is a Nerd Block exclusive print and everything, but he's wearing these suspenders in it, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got them in his hand there and stuff. And so it looks really cool. I mean, I don't like all the emptiness of the picture, but it's actually really cool. That's one of probably the better pictures we've gotten from something. And, and then there's that stuff on the back. I don't know. I am Kyle Man. I don't know. Something like that. For the artist, probably. And then we have our pin for the month. And it is a red rose, and it is from The Godfather. So again, I've never seen The Godfather, so I don't know much about it. Um, but I guess you could just clip it on and look like you have it in your pocket or whatever, if you have a suit on or something. But let's look at the book now to see what we got here. Of course, I don't think they'll have the uh, thing in the book, though, because they usually forget that stuff. Um... So they have a picture of the Punisher. It says, what's inside this month's classic block? Well, we didn't get anything for Punisher. But let's take a look here. So, of course, we have the Sex Panther clone. So this is the um, whiskey glasses we were supposed to get that were bad or whatever that they delayed. Got Those the Joker. Those would have been a lot cooler than the Doctor Strange. Probably. Um, we got the Joker suspenders, the Godfather rose pin, um, the Joker art print, um... Okay, so the print says exclusively drawn, but this isn't the print in the picture or in the book isn't labeled as exclusive like everything else is. That and the Joker suspenders are not labeled. And then of course we have the Dress to Kill T-shirt says um, some about it's got to be because of those casual Fridays and no excuse for um, sorry no excuse to not look your best. Q has fitted you with this month's t-shirt and which is guaranteed to make any double O agent prepared for future missions. So yeah, definitely that. But so they have the next one's theme, which I knew that's what it was, the Heroes for Hire, because they keep advertising it. But I'm not I don't know. I want to say villains or something, because there's a lot of stuff about villains on here. But I don't think that doesn't seem right. For sure, especially with like James Bond and Doctor Strange. Well, Doctor Strange is kind of thrown in. But that's what I don't like about this book. It doesn't say anything about the theme. And like, so there's the stuff on the front, like best dressed villain, deadliest alien races. Did we even get in anything alien? No. Well, I think there was some. There's a page Star Trek aliens or something in here. Um. So yeah, I don't. I have no clue. I mean, I'm sure by the time this is posted, I'll have the theme, like, labeled or whatever for the video. For now, um, we're just going to call it Trash Panda Theme. Yeah. So what was your favorite item out of this box, bro? Um, oddly enough, probably the Sex Panther bottle. So the bottle of Sex Panther. Um, I don't know. I'd probably have to say the suspenders and the print together, just because it's um, superhero related. I'm so Joker and stuff, and I, I think the idea of suspenders are funny, and I've always wanted to have a pair just to wear around for fun for different things, and then I have a Joker picture that goes along with it, that wearing it and stuff like that. I think it's cool. But besides that, I think this is probably one of like the usual nerd block boxes where 
it's got a relatively cool item, but nothing that I really care about or anything. Um, and so the weight definitely wasn't worth it for this box, I can say that much, especially for this cup. Um, and especially, I mean, the cups that they were giving us to us. I mean, it was cool, it was dead shot, but we don't need it. And they're plastic cups like other ones we've gotten. that They're kind of cheap and kind of afraid to even use um, because of the quality and stuff say, like that. I was going to say, I can't remember if it was Nerd Block or Loot Crate, but someone gave us Tony Stark yeah, that ones, was, and they that were was one of the nerd super blocks. cheap. We got them twice. So we got, that was the Nerd Block. Then we got, like, another set another time or something but something. yeah the tony stark ones are super cheap so yeah. they probably should have recalled those and gave us another yeah. um so we finally got the nerd block at least is all i can say and we still are waiting on the band box and we just got an email from them saying that it's still delayed and having problems with that so the band box by the time we get the last months it'll probably be with this month months now too and, of course, they're sending an extra item just as a sorry type thing. Um, so it would have been cool if Nerdblock did, but, of course, it would have been some cool, not just some random item or something. Um, but that's going to be it for this uh, Nerdblock that we finally got. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>